0.25a and option D that is 0.6a. We make the calculation here, we get the answer that is 1 by 4, you can see the calculation beside here, side by that diagram or the circuit diagram. The option C is correct, that is the value of 1 by 4a is 0.25. Here we can see that the option C. Option C is the correct answer here. Okay? I hope you people will understand this. He asked here the I, that is the current. He, the answer of this question is C 0.25A, not a A, that is the mistake he did here. A is a not a correct answer. C is the correct answer, 0.25 If we see the question number 43, that is, the inner wall of a solar cooker is painted black because this. It means the solar cooker. How so the, if you saw the solar cooker, then you can recall that the inner wall of the cooker is painted with the black. He asking why the inner wall of the cooker is painted with a black color. There are options. Reflects light. B. Converts solar radiation. C. Prevents from rusting. And D. Absorbs more heat. As we know that the black color absorbs more heat when we compare with the other colors. Okay. So the answer D is correct here that absorb more heat. Even the black color absorb more heat. So the answer D is correct for this question. Okay. You, you can get the screenshot or you can you can note down this question. So why? Because this is a very important question. Maybe it these question uh, will repeat in the next year, which the student are going to face the exam right now. Maybe these questions will be repeated. I hope the question maximum questions repeat in the next year question paper. So the 44th question and the important note is here that this question can ask for any competitive exams also. That we are facing the lot of the paper are facing the competitive exam like the FDA first division assistant and the second division assistant that is the PDO, Panchayati Development Officer and the lot of the competitive exams we are facing in that also they ask the lot of the questions related with the science. This can help for them also. Why? Because the maximum the questions will be taken from uh, from 5th to 10th or the PUC, up to PUC they will select the question from these 5 to 12 class here. So, uh, the people who are facing for the uh, competitive exam, they can also take the use of this question papers, okay. Uh, the 44th question is here, that is the metal used in the filament of an electric bulb is, this is a very uh, easy question you can say, the bulb, nowadays we are going, we are using the uh, LED bulbs, before that the bulb we are going to use, that is the filament of that bulb is you know, prepared by the tungsten, the filament is prepared by the tungsten in the but this is the correct answer, that is the B. B is the correct answer for the 44th answer here. Okay? I hope you people will, uh, uh, you understand these questions. Okay? I am took the question paper of the uh, last year. 45th question, if we see the conundrum also can get the uh, use of this question paper here. Uh, next 45th question is that a rectangular coil of copper wire is rotated in the magnetic field. Here, the rectangular coil, the rectangular coil of a copper wire is rotated in the magnetic field. There is a magnetic field, rotate in the magnetic field. 
the direction of the induced current change once in each there are options are here a two revolutions one revolutions c half revolutions d one fourth revolution when the magnetic field when the copper wire is introduced in the magnetic field or rotated in the magnetic field then the it rotates half a revolution the answer is c the answer is c okay then the 46th question if we see the question of the 46 the focal length of a lens is plus 0.50 meter the power of a lens and the type or type r the focal length if you see the convex concave mirror there is a focal length for the glasses the focal length of a, of a lens is he given the focal length that is plus 0 sorry plus 0.50 meter then he ask the power of a lens and a type here option is plus 2.0 d and convex lens plus 2.0 d and concave lens minus 2.0 d and concave lens minus 2.0 d and convex lens. the option a is the correct answer yeah the option a is the correct answer for there is a little calculation and when did the calculation directly i am on to the answer here so please you can get to the answer that is option a if we see the question number 47 a device used to change the resistance in the electric circuit is a device used to change the resistance the device which we used to change the resistance in the electric circuit what is that device that whether it is a voltmeter option a whether it is a b ammeter whether it is a c galvanometer whether it is a d rheostat here we see the option d is the current that is the rheostat is a device used to change the resistance in the circuit electric circuit rheostat are the devices used to change the resistance of a electric circuit here okay next the 48th question if we see the 48th question is the magnetic field lines inside a solenoid are in the form of a parallel if we see the magnetic field in the solenoid are in the form of a parallel straight line they are parallel to each other and they travel in the straight line the reason for this is for which the magnetic field the magnetic field in the magnetic field inside the magnetic field a solenoid or in the form of a parallel line in the straight line the reason for the parallel line the straight line is the magnetic field inside the solenoid is what type of the the solenoid magnetic field is present in the solenoid you are asking the what type of the magnetic field is present in the solenoid that is a option very high b uniform c zero d produced by electric current here we see in the magnetic solenoid e or the magnetic field is uniform here option b is the correct answer for this question the correct answer for the 48th question is 48 here we can see for the kannada medium student we are going to mark here that is the option b is the correct answer if we move further 
that is the 49th question here i hope you people can see here 49th question there is the um, english version below kannada the nature and the size of the image form means the nature and the size of the image formed when an object is kept between the principal focus f1 and optical center o of a convex lens r what type of the, what type of the image is formed and what is the size of that image when uh, object is placed between principal focus f1 and optical center o of a convex lens here the answer is a that is a virtual erect and a large image we are going to see when the object is placed between the principal focus f1 and the optical center o of a convex lens okay next question is 50 50th question the device that convert electric energy into mechanical energy what is the device that convert electric energy electrical energy into mechanical energy is we have to name the device here there are the four option we see below a is electric generator b solar cell c dry cell and d electric motor here d is the current uh, correct answer why because electric motor use the electricity and convert it into mechanical energy to rotate the piston or the rod in the motor to pump the water from the wells so the d is the correct answer why because the electric motor convert electric energy into the mechanical energy those who are from the agriculture field they will know it well why because those who students are using the electric motor in their home even though they also can get the idea for this why because the electric motor use the electricity and it is converted into the mechanical energy okay next one 51th question that is ohm is the si unit of look here he twisted the question here every time they will ask the uh, the uh, what is the si unit of resistance instead of that he asked here ohm is the si unit of he reversed the question here the option electric potential difference electric potential difference b resistance c electric current d electric charge the ohm is the si unit of a resistance okay you see this option b is the correct for the 51st question that is the ohm is the si unit of a resistance or the resistance si unit is a ohm if we see the 52th question there is a match of all of it here he given the sequence observe the table material medium and refractive index p is the medium and the index is 1.5 two and q is the material medium that is a reflective index 1.44 and r is the material medium and the refractive index is 42 uh, sorry 2.42 and the material medium yes and the refractive index is 1.33 here a question below in the beach medium the speed of light is very high here the option c is the correct here in the s medium the speed of light is very high for 52 question the answer or the option c is yes 
correct answer for this. And if we see the 53rd question, 53 question, that is the source of energy in a nuclear power reactor is. What type of energy is there in nuclear power reactor? Nowadays, nuclear power reactor is used to generate the electricity. Just recall your memory or uh, just remember that a Raichur thermal power station where the electricity is produced, same here the nuclear energy is used to produce the electricity. So the question is related for that, the source of energy, what type of energy is in the nuclear power reactor? Option A, nuclear fusion reaction. B controlled nuclear fusion chain reaction c exothermic reaction d nuclear fusion reaction remember there are the two type of reactions are there if we come to c in the nuclear power the one is the fusion reaction another one is the fusion reaction fusion reaction where the atoms are split into two here this is the fission reaction fission reaction in the fission reaction the molecules of an element split into two this is the chain reaction we can see it as a chain reaction this is the one type of a fusion reaction there is another one reaction we are going to see that is the fusion reaction fusion reaction that is the fusion reaction where there are two atoms or two molecules or two atoms you can take that combine each other to form a new molecule while they are combining with each other they release a lot of enormous energy in the fusion when they are going to split into two they are release enormous energy this is the first one is a fusion second one is the fusion yeah. here here he will ask the question the solar the source of energy in a nuclear power reactor is what type of the source of energy is the option a is correct answer here that is a nuclear fusion reaction and option C is related very closer to correct. Why? Because in nuclear power reactor, the controlled nuclear fusion chain reaction is present. Just he asked the source of energy. So we are going to choose the option A as a correct answer. If we ask the what type of energy is controlled in a nuclear fusion reaction, then we can say that is the controlled nuclear fusion reaction is used. Remember that there are the two type of energy we are going to see here. That is here. First one is the fusion. Another one is the fusion. Okay. For this, we use the uranium uranium element as a fusion reaction this fusion reaction take place in sun sun where two hydrogen combined two hydrogens a molecular formula of hydrogen is h the two hydrogen combines with each other to form a helium this reaction takes place in 
sun or you can say in a star in the future reaction will take place okay i hope you get it people are getting this answer here the option a is the correct answer if we move further we see the 54th question that is a property of a convex lens among the following is that it it means we have to mark the property of a convex lens option a diverse the light reaction b a lens is thicker at the edge and thinner at the middle option c forms a real and erect image option d is thicker at the edge and thinner at the middle here the option d is correct but because the property of convex lens is the convex lens is thinner thin at the edge it is thicker in the middle like this you see my hand i join together this is at the edge these are the thinner in the middle here it is the thicker that is the property of a convex lens here okay let's move further if we see 55 question number question number 55 a compound that react with both acid as well as a base to produce salt and water is we have to find the compound which react with both acid as well as a base and produce salt and water this is option a is the correct aluminium oxide there are the compound like lead aluminium the aluminum uh, lead and aluminium they react with base as well as acid to form this salt and the water okay this is the correct answer is aluminium oxide next 56th question okay look here the structural formula of propanol is the structural formula for the propanol is option c is correct why the propanol contain how many h are hydrogens here we see the six hydrogens three carbon with the o double bond here we can see H, how many H? One, two, three, four, five, six. H six and C three and this is the proper. This is the answer here. Option C. Option. C is the correct answer. That is the structure of propanol. Okay. Remember this point. These are the very important. Maybe these questions. I hope near about seventy percentage. This question will be repeated in the upcoming exam. Next question. Question number fifty-seven. Properties of element are a periodic. function and their atomic number thus this law was proposed this is the statement given here the statement is the property of elements are a periodic function and their atomic numbers this statement is given by henry moseri this statement is given by henry moseri this is the question related for the chemistry the option d that is henry moseri is the correct answer who given the statement that the properties of the element are a periodic function of their atomic number 
Okay, let us see the next question. That is the 50, question number 58. The observe the following reaction. That is, ferrets combines with or react with the copper sulphide to form the iron sulphide plus copper. What type of reaction you can see here? Is this displacement? Is this combination? Or is this exothermic reaction? Just answer me in comment box. Here, and next one is the Zn plus FeSO4 to form ZnSO4 plus Fe. Fe means ferrous zinc sulfide plus Fe. This is re push, uh, this is, this reaction is in the uh, textbook also. This reaction are in the textbook in the type of a chemical reaction or the chemical reaction we see. I explained this uh, um, lesson in my uh, classes. You can go through that uh, my channel and you can observe the you can listen or you can observe my class on this uh, chemistry chapter. Okay. Here. Yeah. The decreasing order of relatively of the metals in the above reaction is we have to arrange the reactivity of an element in the above reactions in the decrease order. If we see the option A is the correct answer for this. That is zinc, ferrous or the iron or copper and sorry and copper. I explain this chemical reaction in my class. Go through my channel and you will get the chemical reactions and equations. I explain detailly in that. You can get you can clear your every door from that video. Okay. Next question is. 59. The atomic number of an element is 20. There is an element, its atomic number is 20. Name that element which have the atomic number 20. That is the calcium. Sorry. Calcium. Calcium is the element whose atomic number is 20 and in the modern periodic table this element belongs to the period the calcium calcium here we see it belongs to the period 4 calcium is a belongs to the period of 4 in the modern periodic table then the answer is the option C that is a 4 the calcium who are having 20 atomic number is that is calcium. Remember that calcium has atomic number 20. Yeah, I hope you people are uh, understand that is the next question is 60. Question number 60. Look here. The number of a single bond and a double bond present in a structure of a benzene molecules respectively. Means they are asking the single number of single bond and the number of a double bond. Number of a single bond and the number of a double bond. Here are the options given here A 3 and 9, B 9 and 3, C 6 and 6, D 7 and 5. The option B is the correct. Why option B is the correct? Here is the, in the option B, see the same. Slightly different is there, not more. In the option B, 9 is in the first place. In the option A, 3 is in the first place. Why option B is correct here? Because he asked the first single bond. There are 9 single bond. First he asked for the single bond, so the first B option B is the correct point because the 9 is single bond in the benzene, 9 single bonds are present and 3 double bonds and 
three double. You can see here one, two, and the option is the correct. Why? Because first he asked for the single bond. We have to mention the first single bond that is the nine. Single bonds are present in the benzene and three double bond are present in benzene. I hope you will know. Uh, sorry, you can see the answer here. That is option D is the correct. Sixty-one question. The gas liberated when sodium carbonate react with dilute sulfuric acid is sodium when the sodium carbonate react with dilute sulfuric acid. The gas which gas is liberated whether it is a carbon dioxide or B nitrogen dioxide, C hydrogen. D chlorine. Option carbon dioxide is liberated in this equation when the sodium carbonate in a CO3 that is when it is reacted with the dilute HCl, the carbon dioxide is released in the reaction. Sorry, in this reaction. 62 question number the major component of compressed natural gas is the major component of a compressed gas in nature is whether is it butane or ethane or methane or propane the answer is the major component of methane gas is compressed in nature. That is the option C is the correct answer here. 63 question number. The substances that convert a blue litmus paper into red color is you people are very familiar with this experiment that is the litmus paper experiment we can we say here that is the substances that convert a blue litmus paper into red color is whether the substance means whether the limestone convert the blue litmus paper to red or the pure water converts the blue litmus paper into red or it is the sodium hydroxide solution that blue litmus convert into red or the gastric juice that is can blue litmus paper convert into red. The option C we see here the sodium hydroxide solution is convert blue litmus paper into red color. Option C is correct. Next one, 60, question number 64. The process used to convert the sulfide ore of metal into their oxide is that is roasting. Roasting method is used here to convert the sulfide ore of metal into their oxides. 64. For the answer for the 64th question is B. That is the roasting. Next one, question number 65. The common molecular formula of hexane and cyclohexane is option A. C6H6, option B, C6H14, option C, C6H12, option D, C6H10. The correct molecular formula for the hexane and the cyclohexane is C6H12. For the both chemical, for the both element or the compound, we can say it having the same that is a C6. H12 is the molecular formula for the hexane and the cyclohexane. Question number 66. An acid in the staining hair of a natal plant leaf is. Which acid is present in the natal plant leaves? Which acid is present? That is the methanoic acid is present in the natal plant leaves. 
not oxalic acid not a lactic acid not a citric acid that is the methanoic acid present in the nettle plant leaves question number 67 this is the question number 67 the hormone that regulate carbohydrates protein and fat metabolism in human body is as you know in our body lot of the nutrients regulates that carbohydrates protein fats vitamins minerals surfaces these all nutrients circulate in our body here the question is related for that the hormone name the hormone that regulates carbohydrate protein and the fat metabolism in the human body the correct option or the correct answer for this is thyroxine is the hormone which regulates carbohydrate protein and fat in a human body okay next before uh, going to the next question uh, I have to learn something here yeah. that uh, please subscribe my channel and support and share with your friends and the family why because everyone needs the knowledge here yeah. so for the 8th, 9th and 10th class students can get use of this class assigning videos and those who are uh, attempting the competitive exams and they do get the use of these classes please support and share these class or my videos okay my id is or my youtube channel is ikra academy you can go through with my name also that is the maktur mullah here next question is the 68 a pot that has growing seedling is kept in a dark means there is a pot where the seed is seeded in the dark room and a burning candle is placed near it for a few days and the burning candle is kept you can see here this is the room here and the pot is kept inside the dark room which having the seeding plant or the small plant inside that oh this is the thing this is the plant and the burning candle is placed in here this is the burning candle this is the burning candle kept this is the this is the dark room where the seedling growing plant is kept inside the dark room and a, a burning candle is placed near it for a few days the top of the seedling bend towards the light of a burning candle this is slowly when the plants start to grow it start to bend towards the light or towards the burning candle this is known as whether what is this process known as is it chemotropism whether it is phototropism or whether it is the gasotropism geotropism or whether it is known as the hydrotropism Remember that these words or these options are combined with the two. One is the chemo, another one is the tropism. tropism. Here the geo, another one is tropism. Here one is the photo, another word is the tropism. The combination of two words they form a new. This is the hydro. Next one is the tropism. Chemo means chemical. I hope you people will understand. Okay. Geo means earth. 
hydro means water we can say that is the atmosphere present in the room and photo means light photo means light here option b is correct that is the phototropism why means light rays travel in the form of a photons or the photon packets okay so option b is the correct here option b is the correct that is the phototropism this is the correct answer b option b is the correct answer next question if we move for the 60 question number 69 there is a statement correct statement with respect to biodegradable substances among the following is these substances This statement, this statement is related with the biodegradable substances. Biodegradable substances, non-biodegradable substances, adjustable substances, non-adjustable substances, renewable and the non-renewable. These are the different word for a same. First option A undergoes a recycling naturally in the environment. whether the biodegradable substances are undergoes recycling naturally in the environment or option b biodegradable substances harm various organism in the ecosystem option c whether the biodegradable substances increase the density of a harmful chemical in the different tropical level option d whether the biodegradable substances remain inert in the environment for a long time which is the correct one first one is the correct option sorry option a the biodegradable substances undergoes recycling biodegradable substances are the substances which we can recycle them naturally and artificially biodegradable substances undergoes recycling naturally by the nature law in the environment okay question number 17 that is the correct sequence in the process of sexual reproduction in flower we have to they given here some sequences related to the sexual reproduction in the plant we have to choose the correct sequence option a pollination fertilization seed and embryo or uh, sequence b seed embryo fertilization pollution c embryo C poly, poly sorry pollination and fertilization that is not a pollution that is a pollination I pronounce it wrongly that is the pollination option D pollination fertilization embryo and C the correct sequence for this sexual reproduction in the plant in the flower that is option A that is pollination fertilization seed and embryo first first in the sexual reproduction in the hibiscus plant we take first pollination <coughs> after that it will fertilize after that it produce seed and after that it produce the embryo this is the correct sequence for the sexual reproduction in a flower correct answer is a a for question 7 next one question number 71 saving electricity by switching off unnecessary work of a light and a fan is an example of as we know electricity is a very important source of energy and we should not 
waste it so we have to off all electrical appliances when there is a no use of that appli appliances what is known as the switching of unnecessary work of a light or electric appliances is that refuse is that reduce is that re reuse is that re purpose option b that is reduce option b is the correct okay question number 72 the question is if a round green seeded pea plant is crossed with wrinkled yellow seeded pea plant then the seed produced in f1 generation are option a round and green seed wrinkled and yellow seed round and yellow seed or wrinkled and green seed option c is the correct answer the first generation of green round green seeded pea plant when it is crossed with the wrinkled yellow seeded plant option c is the correct answer for question number 72 question number 73 here it is question number 73 is in the next page that is homologous organs homologous organs the homos logo organs are having same structures remember that homologous organs having same structure and perform different functions they are having the same structure but they perform a different functions these organs are known as the homologous organs the correct answer for the question number 73 is option b having same structure and perform different uh, sorry having same structure and perform different functions question number 74 the blood vessels that carries blood from all parts of the human body to the heart name the vessel which take blood to the heart from all over our body it means the the vessel which take the blood from hand to heart leg to heart back to heart everywhere from all the body parts the vessels which take the blood to the heart that is known as the veins option d is the correct answer okay look here first one is the arteries second one is the capillaries capillaries are the end you can say that these are the small capillaries at the end of the blood circulating pipes we can say that okay that is capillary that is a pulmonary arteries here near to the heart second one is the arteries which take the blood from heart to the other part of the body and the veins are the the veins are blood vessel that carries blood from all the parts of our human body to the heart the option d is the correct answer here okay next to the question number 75 that a plant can get rid of excess of water by the process that is the transpiration by the transpiration process the plant remove the excess water from its body through the part of stomach transpiration is take place from the stomata stomata is present in the leaf that is the small hole present in the leaf that is known as the stomata the transpiration process takes place from the stomata where the plant remove it excess water from the 
from its body or from the plant body that process is known as the transpiration process option a is the correct answer for this question number 75 and question number 76 okay the question number 76 the gap between two neurons is option a dendrite option b axon option c sun phase option d cell bodies if you see the structure of a neuron okay just i draw the middle one that is the neuron neurons okay Here, the space between between the neurons we can say here sorry just try drawing the rough diagram the space okay which color we take the black okay this the space which is black here that is known as Samphasis that is the correct answer. Option C is the correct answer. The gap between the two neurons is known as a samphasis. Okay. This is known as the samphasis that is the space between the two neurons. The option C is correct for this answer. Okay. Question number 77. The embryo gets nutrition from the mother's body, mother's blood with the help of a special part called fallopian tube, ovary, uterus and placenta. As we know when the baby is present in the mother's womb, it takes all the nutrients from the mother blood. Mother blood. There is a special organ from which the baby or the embryo take the nutrition from the mother's blood that is nothing but the placenta is the organ which helps to embryo to get their its nutrient from the mother's blood option d is a correct answer option d is the correct answer 78 question number the common passage for both sperm and urine in women male reproductive system there is a single passage present in male for sperm as well as urine that is known as the urethra 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 is the single passage from which the sperm and urine come out from the body of a male that is known as a urethra. The option A is the correct answer for question number 78. Question number 79. Here, which of the following is not the advantage of water harvesting structure? Remember that carefully listen this and see the question. Which of the following is not the advantage of water harvesting structure? Which is a not the advantage? 1. A. Recharge the groundwater. B. Water does not evaporate. Option C. Providing breeding ground of for mosquitoes. D. Provide the moisture for vegetation. Option C is correct answer for question number 79. That is provide breeding grounds for mosquito. This is the wrong, not an advantage to harvest the water. Okay. It will contaminate the water. Breeding of mosquito that is the contamination of a water but it is not a harvesting of a water. Last question of this question paper is 80. Question number 80. The experience of an individual during in a lifetime 
can't be passed on its proteins because there are it means the person or me take as a example i can't pass my experience to my proteins proteins means my generation it means my daughter or my son generation that is the proteins why we can't pass our experience experience why because it is acquired trait i acquired from environment it is a not a genetic information it is acquired ex experience it is acquired a knowledge from the atmosphere or it is acquired experience from the society so i can't pass the only the genetic information that can transfer from one generation to the another generation i hope you people understood my this class and today we revealed uh, reviewed the sorry today we reviewed the question paper of last year where the government took the exam exam for the 10th class student in all subject in the mcq method today we discussed about this question paper i hope you people enjoyed my class so please subscribe my channel please like the videos and share with your friends and invite invite them to my channel and it will help to improve my experience in the online teaching and it will help you to people by because